Hey up everybody. Right then, I'll, before I get on to my uh, latest requisition just here, I'll just quickly do a recap of my garage door. If you saw my video when we selling my motorbike, chap come for my motorbike, <laughs> which I've had more or less from new and uh, I, were, I were very reluctant to sell it and uh, my garage door won't lift would it? We had to do it by hand, me and Ashley. Um, which is no mean feat really because it's a four metre wide door, three and a half metre high and it's quite heavy. But we managed it and then we had a lie down and off he went on motorbike. So what happened then, uh, I've had it all off and uh, the actual motor went. Here's the motor. It's as long as this sweet pea. Um, and this is a five inch gauge by the way. For anybody that is not quite sure, um, this is a 60 newton meter somphy. To replace it with one of those, we're going to cost me an arm and a leg. So what I've done, I've gone for a double newton meter capacity, 130 newton meters, and it's probably just a cheap knockoff from a different, a different country in a different part of the world. Um, but it's double the capacity supposedly so we'll see how that performs it also knocked my control box out so I don't know which one went or whether they both went simultaneous but yeah that were a bit of a coincidence them going together so I've put another control panel on as well and it's working okay anyway I'm digressing aren't I so what I've done then I've bought this for a winter project um, uh, it's a bit of a gamble really because I'm not quite sure about this boiler so that's going to be my first job to get this boiler checked over um, for what I've given for it to be fair if I find that there's something wrong with boiler it's going to scrap man and I'll get, me, I'll get more or less my money back for scrap so I've took a gamble, but it's only a, a limited gamble, if, if that's the right word. Um, yeah, because there's quite a lot of copper in them. So, uh, what shall I do then? I'll take you off at stand and I'll just show you what's actually here and what one's probably doing. Right, so it's got all running gear more or less completed. Everything's free, everything's working okay wheels, axles, axle boxes etc. It's got the axle pump fitted, uh, it's got the lubricator fitted here, axle pump there, I don't know if I'll point it camera at the right place then, axle pump, um, connecting rods, it's got um, blow down valves on this side on this boiler, it's usually on the other side I think uh, smoke box is complete, all pipe works done inside it, coming to cylinders, chimneys done, doors done, door mechanism, foot plate, <coughs> etc. Saddle, that's on. Um, it's got the um, bypass valves fitted. Is it? Yeah, bypass valve. Um, brake mechanism and it's angers and the brake shoes pony truck uh, foot plate all firebox is complete with grating um, it's got uh, the regulator and it's block sight glass and it's valves for the water gauge it's got the forward and reverse gear fitted, it's got the hand pump fitted, um, manifold, pressure gauge, whistle, blower, uh, what else? Same on this side, everything's free, it's got motion, it's got the motion brackets fitted, uh, everything's free. Uh, blower elbow
And that's I think that's as much as I can tell you really. So it's all going to depend on this boiler. And it's also come with a few spares, uh, spare grate, um, casting for valve gear, various other valves. I'm not sure what, they, what they're all for. There's, there's things in here that's not related to this. There's a lot of castings, bronze castings for something else here. Not quite, I, I know these are not off at Sweet Pea because I've already made one. Um, but they're all bronze castings here for various things cylinders, valve chest, covers, uh, horn guards. So uh, it's all going to depend on this boiler, really. Right, that's it in a nutshell, I think. Uh, so obviously, I've shown you bits that are there, and you know, assuming I can get this sorted this boiler I would probably say it's a good 60% complete isn't it really um, it does all want stripping though and everything checking uh, and cleaning up and painting to start with but the biggest job is what's missing is the cylinders uh, so that's not really a problem I'm not going to buy no castings I'll just make them from uh, two bits of solid cast iron etc like I did uh, this one uh, so that's going to be the biggest job I think doing cylinders and to valve gear etc um, so my first job then really like I said this is, a, this is going to be a winter project I'm not going to be going at 100 mile an hour at this because I've still got other things to complete from last winter and uh, but I'm chomping a bit to to get all these fittings off, get it stripped off, get this cladding off and have a proper look at it and do a, a proper double working pressure pressure test on it and then if, if everything's okay at my end then it'll have to go off to my boiler inspector at our club and, uh, and let him uh, decide on what, what its fate is really so uh, and if worse comes to worse, like I said, I'll just wait in and scrap it and get my money back. So uh, watch this space and I'm going to make a start getting this pressure tested. I'm going to take this off outside in case there's any asbestos in that because I'm not quite sure how long this has been made.
Okay, then I've got I've got the boiler all stripped down now. Fittings are off, smoke box off, uh, wet headers off, etc. Uh, so what I'm doing, I'm just running taps down to get any debris out of threads, any lime scale that's built up over the years, perhaps. Because uh, I'm not sure how old this boiler is. Um, I've got all my uh, blanking plugs out. Uh, I've got the ones for the for the top here. I think it's 26, but I'm pretty sure when I did my meter made, I think I did these 5 16ths 32. Well, I've got blanking plugs here, but for some reason these are 5 16ths by 26 cycle thread. Uh, well, I know the 26 cycle thread, and I think then I think they were the plugs I made for mine, but I haven't gone through them all yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find all the plugs out for the uh, blow down and the gauge glass, side gauge glass etc. Get all the relevant plugs made that I haven't got and then uh, I'll do this in the next video. I'll catch you next time then when I'm plugging this up and putting some water in and getting it pressure tested. So if you found that useful, interesting, enjoyable uh, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe I appreciate that and I'll catch you on the next part of this then. Thanks for watching, bye for now.